America's defense chief told its army to be prepared for action against North Korea if called upon by their commander-in-chief. This appears to be a response to Trump's comments last week that he wants military options ready at a much faster pace. Guan jiang had fills us in on how the controversial leader is keeping the world in suspense. The U.S. is maintaining its stance of keeping all options open on North Korea but an emphasis towards military options is growing. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis spoke about the rogue state at a military convention in Washington on Monday, where he stressed that the administration was seeking a peaceful solution through diplomatic efforts and economic sanctions. However, he added, what does the future hold? Neither you nor I can say, so there's one thing the U.S. Army can do, and that's to be ready to ensure that we have military options that our president can employ if needed. He also criticized Congress for allowing military cutbacks, saying that the best way to prevent war is to prepare for it. This comes after Trump met with Mattis and other senior military officials last Thursday, where he urged them to overcome government bureaucracy and provide it with military options at a much faster pace when it comes to matters of national security. Afterwards, at a photo op, he cryptically said the meeting represented the calm before the storm. Since then, Trump and his advisers have been asked to clarify the meaning behind this comment, but so far, no explanation has been given. Further signaling a possible change in direction for the administration, before Mattis's comment on Monday, Trump tweeted that the U.S. actions on North Korea over the last 25 years had only resulted in giving billions of dollars to the regime and that the policy didn't work. This reflects a similar tweet on Saturday, where he added that only one thing will work. The administration has not clarified what this one thing might be. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.